Hi kids! Today we will learn about different types of soil. So let's start! There are three basic types of soil. Sand, silt, and clay. All types of soil are mainly made up of small particles of weathered rocks. That is, very small, broken pieces of rocks. And different types of soil are differentiated by the size of rock particles in them. Now let's learn about sand. It is characterized by largest rock particles that do not stick together, and this type of soil, that is, sand, does not hold any water. Sand is fairly coarse and loose, so water is able to drain through it easily. While this is good for drainage, it is not good for growing plants because sandy soil will not hold water or nutrients. Take some sand in a strainer and add water. Water will easily drain through the sand. So sand is not good soil for growing plants because it does not hold water and nutrients that are required for the growth of plants. Now let's see another type of soil which is called silt. Silt has bigger rock particles than those of sand. It holds some water in contrast to sand, which does not hold any water. Silt is a type of soil which is mainly deposited by rivers. Let's learn more about it. A river, when flows down a mountain, brings with it some weathered or broken rock particles from the mountains. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects. When the river reaches lower areas, it deposits those fine particles on the banks of the river and riverbeds. It seems like very fine sand, which is soft to touch. And this deposited sand is called silt. Now, put some silt in a strainer and now pour water on it. Water will drain through the silt slowly as compared to sand. So silt holds some water and water drains through silt slowly than that through sand. Now we will learn about clay. Clay has the smallest rock particles among all types of soil. They stick together very close to each other. It is very silky and smooth to touch and holds good amount of water. That is, if you add water to clay, much of it will stay in the clay. Now, take some clay in a strainer and now again pour water on it. What do we see? Very little amount of water will drain through the soil. And that too, very slowly, because clay holds the water and water drains through it very slowly. Clay does not drain well and does not provide space for plant roots to breathe. So, only clay in the garden is also not a good option as it won't let plants grow properly. Clay soil is used to grow roses, bergamots, compass plant, and partridge pea. Clay can be fired or dried in the sun to make bricks, which are then used in construction of buildings. Clay combined with straw and sand makes cob, and cob is a construction material which is used to make buildings, ovens, and benches. Clay Soil is also used to make walls, floors, countertops, ceramic tiles. Now, 
Here we have another type of soil, which is loam. Loam is a mixture of sand, silt, and clay. The quality of loam soil depends on the quantity of various types of soil in it. This is why loam soil is always the first choice of a gardener, as it's best for plant growth since it is a mixture of all types of soil and it has humus too. So it holds good amount of moisture and also allows good drainage. The decaying plant and animal matter help give structure to the soil to hold the plant roots in place. Loam also holds just the right amount of water, neither too less nor too much. It lets some water in, which allowing the extra to drain. Ingredients of loam are sand, silt, clay, and humus. Loamy soil is ideal for plant cultivation and is commonly used to grow flowers, fruits, and a variety of vegetables. Loamy soil, in combination with straw, is also used in wall construction and applied on the inner surface of walls to control humidity. Now, let's revise what we have learned about types of soils. We learned about four types of soil, sand, which has biggest rock particles, silt, has particles of rock smaller than those of sand, clay, has smallest rock particles, and loam. It is the mixture of all types of rock particles and humus. Now let's learn what humus is. Humus is dark organic matter in soil, which is made up of dead and decayed plant and animal matter. Like when small insects and animals die in the soil, their bodies turn into humus. Likewise, plant waste, like dropped leaves, twigs, fruits, and seeds too, form humus. So humus is the remains of living material and becomes a part of the soil, which makes it very fertile as it adds to the amount of nutrients in the soil. So kids, today we learned a lot about different types of soil and their characteristics. Now, now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye!